hello everyone and welcome back dear students today our topic is second reactive transport and before discussing second reactive transport let us recapitulate first of all what is active transport okay active transport simply means the movement of substances from lower concentration to higher concentration uh, with the expenditure of energy okay so you can simply say active transport is that type of transport in which the molecules or particles they are moving against their concentration gradient and thermodynamically this is only possible when you supply energy so it means the active transport is possible only when there is expenditure of energy okay as i already told you that there are two types of active transport one is known as primary active transport and we have secondary active transport primary active transport is that type of active transport in which the molecules move from lower concentration side to higher concentration side with the direct consumption of energy okay jaisi maine aapko kal bola about sodium potassium pump and hydrogen potassium pump okay uh, those examples represent the primary active transport now today our focus is secondary active transport uh, secondary active transport is that type of transport process in which the molecules or you can say the movement of one solute is possible only when other solute is moving down this concentration gradient okay or you can simply say it is a transport of solutes by coupling of the uphill transport of one solute to the downhill transport of the other solute okay here this is for example a transporter here located in the membrane and in this transporter h positive ions they move to the inner side of the cell and along with these h positive ions some other molecules they move from it is lower concentration side to higher concentration side okay the h positive ions are moving down their concentration gradient and the other solute which we will take as glucose it moves from it is lower concentration side to higher concentration side so that type of transport process active transport process which uses a stored energy of electrochemical potential gradients or ph differences okay to drive the transport of some other molecule say for example glucose from lower concentration side to higher concentration side this type of active transport is known as secondary active transport okay let's understand it more clearly say for example this is the plasma membrane of the cell and this represents the vacuole this represents the tonoplast okay vacuolar membrane in the plasma membrane we have h positive atpases or you can say pumps these h positive atpases they move h positive ion from the inner side of the cell to the outer side of the cell okay and this leads to the creation of electrochemical potential gradients between the outer side and the inner side okay or simply the ph differences the cell uses this ph difference to drive the movement of some other molecules for example amino acids or glucose hum yahan pe glucose ki baat karenge glucose okay because of this electrochemical potential difference or ph difference there is higher concentration of h positive ion on the outer side these h positive ions will tend to move from the outer side to the inner side through this protein molecule which is known as co transport uh, protein okay or simply co transporter okay when h positive ions move through this co transporter protein it also favors the movement of glucose from outer side which represents the lower concentration side to the inner side which represents the higher concentration side yahan pe glucose ki concentration pehle hi zyada hoti hai yahan pe kam hoti hai okay when these h positive ions move they make conditions favorable for the transport of glucose from this lower concentration side to higher concentration side okay this represents uh, the second reactive transport that means the glucose movement is only possible when the energy stored in electrochemical potential gradients is utilized okay by this co transport protein similarly in the vacuolar membrane we have h positive atpases and these h positive atpases they move h positive ions from 
the cytoplasm to the vacuole okay they move h positive ions from the cytoplasm to the vacuole this leads to the creation of an electrochemical potential gradient or ph difference between the cytoplasm and the vacuole so obviously when these h positive ions will move back into the cytoplasm okay when they will move back into the cytoplasm they drive the movement of some other uh, substances some other ions for example sodium ion from cytoplasm into the vacuole okay vacuole may already sodium ki concentration jyada hoti hai as compared to cytoplasm still when h positive ions move back into the cytoplasm through this co-transport protein molecule it drives the movement of sodium from it is lower concentration side in the cytoplasm to the higher concentration side in the vacuole this type of transport process is known as second reactive transport okay so both these examples they represent the second reactive transport processes so this is all about second reactive transport i hope you all understand this in the next part we are going to discuss uniport and co-transport till then stay blessed and thank you